Welcome to the story of the centurion's servant. This story is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8, verses 5 through 13. The lesson focus for grades 3 and 4 is, Even powerful people come to Jesus for help. During the time Jesus was teaching and preaching and healing, the Roman Empire stretched across Europe to Egypt. Rome maintained tight control in their ever-expanding territories. The centurion in this story was a military officer of Rome who led a force of about a hundred soldiers. He was not Jewish and he was not a follower of Jesus, but in this story he seeks out Jesus for help. How did the centurion know to seek out Jesus? Perhaps he had heard of the miraculous healings Jesus was doing all over Galilee. Perhaps he simply recognized in Jesus a significant power. He claims they both have power that comes from the authority they work under. He recognizes that Jesus' power is not the same as his own, however. The centurion has military power, the power of Rome. Jesus has the power to heal, the power of God. The centurion shows remarkable faith. He is convinced that diseases are as obedient to Jesus as his soldiers are to him. When he tells his soldiers or his slaves what to do, they do it. Similarly, when Jesus speaks the word, the centurion has faith that his servant will be healed. He both recognizes and trusts Jesus' power. In Jesus' time, the people lived with rival claims in their lives. Some of these claims overlapped. The Romans were one source of authority under which people lived. Religion was another. Jesus' source of authority and power was not either. Jesus' source was God. The centurion had a need. His servant was lying paralyzed in terrible distress. So he appealed to Jesus. Even powerful people come to Jesus for help. And Jesus helped. He healed the centurion's servant simply by announcing that he'd be healed. The centurion's life was changed, as was the life of his servant. Jesus brings new possibilities to every situation. When we ask Jesus for help, we can expect that we will receive that help. Jesus acts with compassion. Jesus heals and makes whole all who need his love. Jesus helped all people who came to him, from poor lowly people to rich and influential people. We learn in this story that even powerful people come to Jesus for help. Third and fourth graders may call activities like Sunday school boring, especially if their friends say it's boring too. Counter, this is boring comments with giving kids the opportunity to lead activities for themselves. Allow them to pick the next activity your group does or challenge a complainer to do an improvised skit using a story character. Kids this age are beginning to decide what they're good at and what they're not so good at. Pay attention to the gifts the kids in your class have and what they really enjoy doing. Find moments during class time when you can call on those gifts. Kids enjoy getting a chance to shine while doing what they love to do. Keep an eye on the arrival activity game as kids play. Guide kids so that the cup flipping doesn't get too wild. If needed, call time out to pause the game. Use this calming moment to remind kids to play the game safely and to be aware of other people's physical comfort levels. Third and fourth graders are facing increasing pressure to be popular. This lesson is a great reminder that God calls us to be open to all people. Lift up those themes in various parts of this week's lesson, such as during Connect for More leaflet activity and the closing conversation. Your kids have probably heard that Jesus helped the poor and sick and powerless. 
they may be surprised to learn that even powerful people come to Jesus for help. 